I just couldn't resist. Connection established. Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to do something with Node MCU. I will connect LED to Node MCU and write a simple program that will make LED blink every second. Before we start, I want to inform you that I added all the electronics used here in the description below. I ordered the components from eBay so you can see more information and their prices below. But you can probably find all that stuff also in an electronic shop near you or online. It's your choice. Let's start by taking a look at components I'll use and explain things you need to know if you have never encountered with them. So, here we have Node MCU ESP8266 module and a USB 2.0 to micro USB cable for data transmission and for powering the module board. In my previous video, I said basic information about this module board we will use today and where to buy it just for 3 bucks. So check out that video, link of that video is in top right corner. If you want to find out more information about Node MCU hardware specification. Next, we have two breadboards. Why two? Because pins on Node MCU are placed in a way it would occupy all points on breadboard and there would be no place for connecting other components. In case you don't know, points marked with pluses and minuses are connected in a column and all other points with letters are connected in a rows, separated by middle notch. Here is a picture visualizing this to make it more clear. As you already saw, I'm using red LED. Thing you need to remember about LED is that longer leg is a node, let's say plus, and a smaller one is cathode, let's say minus, like presented on this picture. And the last thing is a resistor that will guarantee for LED safety. I found one 100 ohm resistor. You can also try connect LED without resistor, but there is a chance LED will be destroyed. Now that all components are here, let's start connecting them. I have connected two breadboards together and I placed node MCU left side pins on left board row points and right side pins the right board row points. Next, take any side of resistor and place it, let's say, on digital pin D1. Stick it in one point in that row where D1 pin is connected to the breadboard. Connect other side of resistor in one row over the middle notch. Like this. Now connect anode, this is longer leg, of LED next to the resistor and put cathode shorter leg of LED over the middle notch to G that represent ground and that gives us closed circuit. For the end, plug USB 2.0 to PC and micro USB in Node MCU connector. Come on you micro turtle. That's it. Everything is connected successfully and we are ready to start give orders to this module board. For the programming part, I've decided to use open source tools. I will install Atom text editor and inside it install platform IO ID that is designed for IoT development. Links for downloads are in the description where you can follow video steps. This should be a simple setup, you only need patience for installing time of that tools. Let's search for platform IO and open platformio.org website. Here we see green button, install platform IO now, so let's click on it. Here we have a choice to use platform IO ID with Atom or Visual Studio code. You can see that some features are limited and if we want intelligent code completion we will also need to install Clang, but let's pick it anyway. Now let's just follow steps given here. We arrived at Atom io website and here is nice yellow button saying download so let's press it after download is complete let's open installer and wait to finish its job okay 
we are looking at Atom text editor and let's continue with platform IO installation steps. Go to file and click settings. Click on install, then type in platform IO. and pick Platform IO IDE and press on blue button install and let's wait again. Now Atom is telling us that if we want to use ICC we need to install Clang. As the name tells ICC is used for automatic code completion and for auto correction of typos when coding. This is not necessary but I'm planning to use Platform IO IDE for future projects so I will install it and hopefully save some time writing code in future. IDE is installing and Clang website did pop out on screen. Let's download for Windows. Mine is 64-bit. And Windows is trying to stop me from installing it. But we will make resistance and install it anyway. Second option was in red rectangle. So let's pick Edit to System Path for all users. And we are finally done with installing. Let's reopen Atom and create new project. Go to Platform IO, then Platform IO Home and New Project. Let's call it Node MCU. For board, select Node MCU 1.0 and leave Arduino as a framework. File we will need for writing code is located in source src folder as we can see there is main cpp inside already with a nice c++ structure ready to take orders from us one more file that you should check is platformio.ini and there should be few lines looking something like this stating platform we are using board here it says node mcu v2 we have Node MCU V3, but that should not be a problem. And framework is Arduino. So let's just leave that how it is and start writing a program. Back to main CPP. We need to take a look at Node MCU pinout and check what GPOI number is at D1, where we connected our resistor and LED. As you can see, it is GPOI 5. So let's name that pin 5 red LED. Next, in setup function, We'll set red LED pin mode to output like this. Let's go inside loop function and write code to turn red LED on. Add delay of one second that will hold red LED turned on. After that, write code to turn red LED off and again add one second delay. Simple, right? We are very close to check out if we made it or not. Let's check if there are no errors in code by building project by pressing here. Now, if you still didn't connect USB cable, Connect it between PC and Node MCU. If PC didn't detect your board, try to install Node MCU drivers that I added in the description below. Nice, no errors. Finally, upload the code to Node MCU. And fail. We got an error. It is saying that it can't find upload board. You should be able to fix that by simply unplugging USB cable from Node MCU and plugging it again. If it is still not working, try to reinstall drivers. Ok, let's try now. And... It's looking good. Success! The LED is blinking as we wanted. And that's it! In future, I'm planning to make one IoT slash smart home project with this board to 
present what you can do with it. I hope you learned something new and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck.